Hello, friends. Those back pages here. I hope you're well. Tonight's episode, gonna uh, open a care package that I received from a relatively new member of our card community, Canadian Cards, Mike, up in Canada, near Toronto, I believe. He and I have had some email discussion and he asked me if he could send me a little care package that he thought some cards that would fit into my collection. So, I, of course, I said, yes, please do. And uh, the package arrived the other day. But with everything going on, I haven't gotten to it yet. So I'm actually a little excited to open it because I want to see what's inside. But first, you see a Pete Rose that came in. And I wanted to show that to you guys, a 65 Rose. Now if you collect 65s, so you guys know how tough centering is on these. But the centering on this one is fantastic. Almost spot on. A little off top to bottom, but left to right, pretty damn good. Now I was going to take out the the fancy pants uh, magnifier and try to show you guys but uh, it's too power too powerful and doesn't really show up on the camera I really need to get my form down like Alex Bowman 53 has when he shows his amazing 53 Bowman colors and he takes out that really cool looking magnifying glass that he doesn't remember what it's called or where he got it but I think it would be cool to own one of those. So if he could step that up and let us know what that was that he's using because it he's able to get really close to the camera and really zoom in on the, you can see almost like the, the dots on the card. It's quite brilliant. But everything about this card works. It's probably his best looking base card something I've been looking into with the uh, legends of the game trying to determine what their best looking base card is regardless of price or year but this just presents very well it is of course Shea Stadium taken in 64 the year Shea Stadium opened and uh, features a very young Pete So yeah, I'll just put that there. Also in the mail today, I was watching a video he made last week, I think it was. Maybe the week prior. Another rare name in our card community of Mike. This baseball card life. If you've not checked him out, go ahead and check his stuff out. He's a uh, focused mainly on the 80s he's doing the Becca top 80 of the 80s so he's working on that and he showed off a video that's he showed off something he picked up that's uh, very relevant to today's slab gate shenanigans and such and uh, I went I went ahead and picked up the same issue he did only to find out a few days later from the seller that, oh, we're, uh, we can't find that book. We're sorry. So we're going to go ahead and cancel the transaction. So, bummer that they didn't have it, but someone else had the year prior. And it's the Sports Collector's Digest Sports Counterfeit Detector. This is the... 92 edition I think yeah 1992 Mike had the 93 which looked a lot better than this one uh, literally opened it five minutes before shooting this this video so again this was like four bucks so 
if it provides some information that's handy. I see a lot of that in there. No photo available. Kind of defeats the purpose, in my opinion. It's chronological by baseball. Showing you know, all the counterfeits through the years. There's a couple different Madden League re counterfeits. 84 Fleer Update. 86 Donruss. 87 Fleer. 90 Leaf. Desert Shield. So you never have some minor league issues. Basketball, of course, Jordan. Some hockey in the year two. Gretzky. Oh. I remember this was a big, this and the Turgeon and the Neuendijk. Turgeon was a big, uh, that's right, the first OPG premiere was a big target for counterfeiting. So yeah, I'll take a look at that and see how it is. But again, it's it's uh, it's all about learning. Again, it was four bucks. You never know, might catch something. All right, let's pop this open and see what our new friend, Mike, up in Canada, Canadian Cards is his channel's name, so please do go check him out. I'm gonna guess it's safe to, I haven't opened this obviously, well, I guess it's safe to uh, cut here. We're gonna find out. Guessing there's a mailer in here. Yes, there's a mailer in here. That's cool. Oh, and there's a letter. You know I like the letters. Hey Eric, hope things are good with you. Just wanted to send these cards along to you in appreciation for my channel show shout out. Keep up the great work on your videos. Love watching them. Your friend Mike, Canadian Cards. Thank you very much, Mike. That's going right in my personal YouTube uh, album with various cards and, and letters and such that I showed off a little bit ago. Just proud to add that to the collection. So, uh, looks like a little stamp snuck in there. Uh, let's let's see. Let's. Oh, we've got the green tape. So this should peel right off. Perfect. One more. And there we go. Let's see what we got inside. Nothing in there. Oh, I see some seventy-five Opeachy. Oh. oh, Dean Chance signed. Dean Chance, look at that. 71 top signed. Dean Chance, beautiful. 78 tops. Bobby Valentine signed right there. Oh, 63 tops. Casey Stengel. Look at that. Look at that beautiful card, Casey. Strikeout leaders, two Wall of Famers, Seaver and Jenkins. And that's OPG. Oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, peaches. I don't have these. 73 Seaver, oh, peachy. And 75, oh, peachy. Look at that. It's got French on the back. 
Oh, this is beautiful, Mike. Thank you so much. Look at that. Miss Seaver. Wish she was doing better health wise. They just had the big 50th anniversary for the Miracle Mets, the 69 team. And uh, unfortunately, he's not well enough to travel. So he was not able to make it. But of course, everyone was thinking of him. And uh, yeah. That's just incredible. Thank you so much, Mike. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I don't have these at all. And these are just pano peaches. Just let me smell that. It's got its own texture that it really doesn't, it's not gonna show up on camera. But man, that's great. That is just fantastic. All right, that's enough of that shenanigans. All right, everyone, I want to thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking your time to spend with me. And uh, it means a lot that you decide to watch my stuff. I really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, before I go, Mike and I made a, a another, you know, Mike, because, you know, I've only mentioned three mics now in this video and they're all different. Mike Baseball Collector. He and I have been doing a series of uh, how-tos for dummies, supposedly, for uh, the show, for the National coming up. So we did another one that he put up earlier today. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. I will leave a link in the description below. And... Uh, Remember, always learning, keep learning, share your knowledge, and you matter. <laughs>